What's up, everybody? Thank you for checking out the show. This podcast was filmed exclusively for Odds.com. Make sure you click the link below. Go check out the full replay on Odds.com as we break down UFC Fight Island 8. Next up, we got Warley Alves taking on Munir Lazez. And let's just, let's just take a minute. Let's just take a minute. Talk to me in the chat. Who's got FanDuel? And who's got Lazez minus 140 in their pocket? Because your boy tweeted out, the second this line drops, you jump on it. And FanDuel hung this fight at even money. You could have got this fight anywhere from minus 140 all the way up to like minus 185. And I tried to put that out in the world for my backers and my followers as soon as humanly possible because here we are getting a little bit closer and as predicted Lazez is minus 220 minus 220 folks oh we crushed this line Lazez is one that I circled my calendar I love this spot I love this guy we called going back Kane's fan to your point Munir Lazez was a 3-1 to one underdog against Abdul Razak Al-Hassan last year, and we crushed that number. We absolutely destroyed this kid. He is incredible. One of the slickest strikers I've ever seen. Rolls with the punches, has really good nerves. He's calm in there. He takes his time. He has no problem surviving, no chin issues, high-level striker. Lazez is the complete package. This is the kid that you're looking for when you want to see that next-level underdog rising UFC star. I think Lazez is the guy. He's 10-1 and one in MMA, and he is ready for the step up. And taking on Warley Alves here, considering he made his UFC debut against Abdul Razak Al-Hassan, this is potentially a step down in competition for him, folks. It's maybe a step down. And not only did he fight and beat Abdul Razak Al-Hassan, he did it over 15 minutes. He won in a three-round decision over Abdul Razak Al-Hassan. He survived every single onslaught. He absorbed every single bomb. And he picked apart a UFC veteran in his UFC debut. This kid is sick. Warley Alves on the other side of this thing is a guy that I wanted to fade against Christian Aguilera. He was supposed to fight Christian Aguilera. And I thought Christian Aguilera was going to be the guy to show up and beat Alves. And Aguilera was going to be an underdog in that spot. I loved that. However, he got pulled off the card, unfortunately. And we don't have nearly as nice of a price now. But Warley Alves is a first-rounder bust fighter. He's got some sick jujitsu. If he gets this fight to the floor, that's the one thing we're concerned about. That's why I'm totally okay with Lazez. And even if you have him at minus 200 or minus 225, something like that, parlay him. I'm okay with him as a parlay piece at this price tag because we are only fading one thing. Warley Alves is a monster in about the first two minutes of the fight. If he doesn't get you out of there in those first two minutes, though, he's done. And if Abdul Razak Al-Hassan wasn't able to get Lazez out of there, I don't think Alves is going to be able to get him out of there, especially on the feet, on the feet. I don't think Alves is going to knock out Lazez. Now, if Alves gets this thing to the ground, could he submit Lazez? Maybe. That's the one thing. However, grappling wears Alves out like nothing else. This guy gets so tired. He is shot by the third minute of the fight. So if he gets Lazez down, and if he gets over to his stool between corners, he's maybe a eh, half of himself. The second round starts, he's got nothing. I think Lazez is going to TKO Warley Alves. I think he's going to finish him in the second round after Alves gasses out. Heck, he might even do it in the first. Lazez is legit. I am all about this kid. And because I'm a man of the people, I'm, I'm not going to count it on the official record of the podcast, but I want it known that I let you all know about that minus 136, minus 140 line that was hanging out there at FanDuel. So if you guys jumped on that, if you've got FanDuel, if you could get there and get it locked in, you know, I hope you're riding with me. Congratulations. We're on it. 
I like Lizez as a parlay piece. I think he wins by destruction. Lizez by knockout. Lizez round two. I, I like all of those spots. Fight doesn't go to decision is minus 145, and I think that's a pretty good spot too. The under two and a half, I think that's a good spot too because there's no way that Worley Alves is winning this thing via decision in my opinion. Worley Alves has to finish Lizez to get it done, and I think that if Worley Alves doesn't get the finish, he then gets finished in return. I don't see this fight getting to the judges' scorecards either, so if you want the under two and a half, if you missed out on Lizez, that's maybe not a bad spot to take, and that totally locks in that first round Worley Alves threat as well. So like I said, what I'm going to do in this spot is uh, I'm I'm not going to credit myself for Lizez at minus 136. But that's the line I got. We'll just leave it at that. I think he's a parlay piece. Might play the under. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there.